Malia through uh, a game. So it's a really important game. And um, first, uh, the first hour we decided to focus on the differences between our culture, our Western culture, and the, uh, the culture over there. And then you find out, because you, there, over there you can see all the sketches we did through that in... in uh, we uh, did! Uh, <coughs> sorry, <laughs> <laughs> No, No, we did, I mean, really. I just put down on paper all of all of the uh, things we had to take into account because it was a uh, a different enough culture from the cultures that we all come from that we we had a lot of questions about what could be permitted and we also had to find out uh, what were other kinds of restrictions and it turned out that um, the use of text was a massive restriction. We, we had to create an environment which would absolutely not require the ability to read. Because so these are illiterate women. Um, it's a male dominant society. So we also had to look for what kind of role models would work. Um, there's actually um, from the, um, uh, I believe, Religion. religion. There's also a strong religion over there, depressing these women, um, hurting these women physically. And what we had to do was try to empower them to first know what are their rights, and secondly, uh, get them involved in a learning curve where they learn different uh, skills which they can use to help themselves and their children. Actually, this is a country where 16-year-old women have babies. They, they get married first thing they can um, after they uh, get the, uh, at, at 16, and then they get uh, married, <coughs> dominant men, they don't go to school anymore. So this is a really big problem, because the kids at school, they stay here until 12, 14, 16, and then it stops for them. People don't uh, um, uh, invest in the women because it's, uh, it gives more worth to invest in, in the males in that society. So it's a real big problem. Okay. Said, having said that, um, there are some positive elements. You have <coughs> storytelling. It's really a strong part of their culture. Um, we had to look into the female role model because um, strong women can be a role model. Um, so in our game we'll have a role model which is a, whim, a woman who is a teacher also. So she teaches these women who will play this game. Um, it's a time to play. Um, there will be levels, so if you're really good you go to the next level. Um, the role model is always also a guide, so she'll uh, teach you things about life which will help you uh, not only through the game, but through re real life also. So your knowledge will grow. Um, it will be a quest, like the quest for the Holy Grail, but in this time uh, it's building your future, which might be the name for the game. Um, dialogue is an important part. Uh, dialogue offline and online, because the classrooms are connected to the internet, so there's a, a way to have an online dialogue. Also, there will be uh, Android phones, so also between those phones you can have an uh, online uh, uh, dialogue. But we think the offline dialogue may be uh, more important even. So the game teaches you things. Um, no, I'll, I'll explain that later. Um, there's no text, because these are illiterate women. They might learn uh, words, but that's a whole different Thing. So we don't want that in uh, the game. Um, it's mobile, it's a classroom, and there will be riddles. Okay, so looking at the classroom, you'll see uh, the teacher as the role model wearing uh, clothes from uh, that culture, and telling a story, and this story will have, you see up on the uh, top of the graphic, different um, endings. And what the children have to do is think what will be 
the best solution to this problem, and they'll have to sleep for one night before they can answer. And then what we hope will happen is that they'll have discussions with each other, because this will be compelling stories, um, asking them to think about the solution, and in the morning they can um, answer the question, but first they can also talk to each other, try to convince each other which is the best answer to this uh, specific problem. And they can also bet, like we do here in Holland, where you have a football pool, where you can uh, say, okay, I think this is the best answer, and then you win or you lose. Well, in this case, we're going to have uh, stones. If you uh, win a level, then you get some stones, and you can also use these uh, stones to show, look, I'm, I'm really doing good in this game, but you can also use them to bet. When you have this discussion, you say, nah, that's not the right answer, then you can say, okay, I've, I've, I've just put all my stones into this answer. So you also have a complete different uh, uh, game element, which is also physically uh, uh, seen within the village, who is playing the game, how are they doing, and also encouraging this uh, extra dialogue. Um, and basically, if that's the one over there, but maybe Dean wants to uh, sure. elaborate a little bit more. Some of what we, uh, what we started with conceptually was looking at other games, which were always about positive reinforcement and uh, would appeal to various types of players, meaning that uh, it wouldn't be targeted to specifically one age group of women. And uh, our, our model that we looked at was The Sims. Uh, there's also Farmville. They're very much the same kind of thing where the idea is, is the intent to always move forward building. Um, in this case, we're trying to have knowledge of empowerment and rights be the thing that you are learning. And as you acquire more information, you are able to go up a level. One of the things that came up in the discussion was that um, it's very important to think about not only yourself, but more about the way of uh, helping your children and vice versa. So there's a very strong sense of, of family values, what we would call family values. And, and so our idea was that in games like The Sims or in Farmville, as you, um, as you in increase the value of whatever you're winning, which in this case is knowledge, the whole family moves up a level. So it is this idea that you're actually working towards moving up these various levels um, what, another important factor that we talked about is that there really is this overarching storyline that absolutely continuously compels you towards this increase of knowledge. So that even though there might look like there are di diverting, diverting stories uh, or digressions, there really is actually this one trajectory of storyline where having all of the knowledge acquired elevates the entire family. So uh, that's the things we're trying to represent here visually. Did I capture all of that? <laughs>